He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it is he who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence, he will cover you with his pinions. And under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night or of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness or of the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand but it will not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil will befall you, nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample down. Because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him I will set him securely on high because he has known my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and let him see my salvation. Yeah. When we think of the things that are happening upon us right now across the world, it seems that our governments are in a little bit of disarray. They, we don't know quite how to deal with this virus, this pandemic. And we need God's wisdom. We need to pray for our leaders to give them the wisdom of God. As he says, you know, that God says that my ways are higher than your ways. And just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways. And we just need to humble ourselves and approach the living God, our creator, who knows everything about us and about our earth, our environment, and what we're susceptible to and the things that we should be, or rather the things we should not be doing perhaps could bring us into these sort of situations. We need to know what it is, what his laws are, what his principles are, what his, his ideas are for us to prosper in health, in wealth, and what's more, and also in just knowing his full will and purpose for us and his earth. So we're praying for that wisdom which comes from the 